Good afternoon, my name is Bill Moonlight Graham of the Whiskey Island Shamrocks. We're based out of Cleveland, Ohio. We are a vintage baseball team. We play by 1860s rules, and when I mean 1860s rules, we are celebrating the infancy of the sport. Vintage uniforms are interpretational. Um, most vintage ball clubs were comprised of farmers or country people, and they would just wear their bib overalls and their, and their jeans, and they would wear possibly a straw hat. Um, these uniforms with the uh, with the short knicker pants are, are more of a city type ball uh, ball uniform, um, short pants and long sleeve shirt. Uh, I am wearing a vintage replica uniform, which can be purchased uh, uh, by a number of online uh, companies. Um, we wear long sleeves. We have collars. We also have a shield front, uh, shield shirt. Uh, sometimes. Uh, teams have a lace-up front. Um, shield shirt is reminiscent of a coal miner and or a fireman. Um, it would button off and they would carry coal and or a hot item in the bib and it's just buttoned on. Um, this is a vintage replica, an accurate vintage replica lemon peel baseball. Uh, this was used between the years of probably 1845 to uh, somewhere in the mid 1880s whereas it is different from today's baseball it has four stitches four seams stitched in the form of a lemon peel and it has a sweet spot on the back and uh, obviously the four stitches it shows it is a lemon peel baseball uh, versus the figure eight uh, that we have today for today's baseball uh, I also have what was commonly used this is an axe handle. Uh, usually, uh, vintage ballists of early period would use uh, a piece of wood, preferably an axe handle, and as the game developed, uh, they would then use a piece of lumber that looked more like a baseball bat that we use today. Uh, specifications could have been a little bit longer, a little bit heavier than what we use today. Handles are obviously very much thicker than what they use today. Uh, they were very strong and very durable. Vintage baseball, I would say, in Ohio has been in a, around for about at least 20, 25 years. Uh, the birthplace of vintage baseball in Ohio was Columbus, Ohio, at the um, Historical Society in Columbus. We've been in existence since 2009, and I would say that there are possibly um, 30 to 50 teams in Ohio, and somewhere around 100, 125 or more in the United States. Baseball is a gentleman's game. It originally started as uh, a game for enjoyment and relaxation. Uh, there was no swearing, there was no gambling, there was no alcohol consumption, there was no tobacco consumption. Around the 1880s, 1890s, it developed where the gamblers got involved and it became more of a competitive game, uh, more of a, a game that was uh, betted upon. And um, to give you an example, um, balls, we obviously don't wear gloves. Gloves weren't invented until the mid 1880s. Uh, so we play without a glove, and being that we don't play with, with, being that we play without a glove, we can catch the ball in our hands in a manly fashion, or we can attempt to uh, catch the ball on a bound in which the ball will still be an out caught on one bound. Uh, base runners can advance at that point at their own risk. Um, balls and strikes are not called, but if three balls are swung and missed, it is a, it is a strikeout. Um, the ball is fair or foul where it is first hit. So if the ball is first hit fair and goes immediately foul, it is still a fair ball, unlike today's game where it has to reach past first or third base to be considered fair or foul. So that is a different difference between today's game and yesterday's game. Balls and strikes are not called, but if the umpire feels that the uh, the batter is extending or prolonging his at bat, he will give him a warning and say, I will now call balls and strikes. Um, a ball is fair or foul from where it is first hit. The infielders uh, play at their perspective bases, uh, whereas a third baseman will stand in the middle of the position. Uh, third baseman in a vintage ball will 
plays within one step of the bag, as are the second baseman and first baseman also required. Um, the outfielders play in the center of their position as well, and uh, uh, fielders are not allowed to move until the ball is struck by the batter. Oh, 